guys, I'm Chris. Welcome to this week's tutorial. Let's draw together. In this week's tutorial, we'll be drawing two fish in Procreate, and I'm sure you can create this too if you follow along all the way to the end. If you feel rushed, be sure to hit that pause button, rewind to catch up, and just save this video to your library so you can rewatch it for extra practice. Today we'll be using all three brushes found in Procreate. And don't forget, once you've finished this entire video, to share it on Instagram and tag me in the image as well as the description so I can find your artwork and feature you here on the next Draw Together video. For this video, I've made you a free color palette just in case you want to use the exact same color as me during this tutorial. And you can just tap on the link in the video description below where you can download and install it. Also below you'll find a link to the goodie bag where you can grab some free goodies and support me by visiting my shop. So let's get started and I'll set up my canvas as the usual 4000 by 4000, 300 dpi and sRGB. So let's start with our sketch and I'm just going to grab black here and get our 6B pencil just for our sketch. Let's see, I have it at, what is it now? about 40, 50, just so you can see. So I'm gonna just start with our first fish. It's gonna be a bit boxy. So I'm gonna draw a box, and then his little nose and whatnot are gonna come here, and it's pretty thin. And just sort of curve like that. And this is actually gonna curve just a little bit more rounded here and come up sort of around like that okay so that's basically the shape of his body and then he's gonna have like this little just a little fin that comes here there he is okay and then he's got a little tail at the back of course it's kind of like that I'm gonna make it kind of wiggly a little fancier. Alright. This eye is gonna go about here. And we're gonna have a pattern on him, so he's gonna be stripey. And this one will go over his eye or behind his eye. This one, sort of like that, and it will go along the top here, sort of like that. So, this one is going to kind of be inset, so it's not going to touch, something like that. And then this guy is also going to be inset. And then it'll have this other eye type looking thing, something like that. Maybe we'll put a little white spot in there too. Okay, so that's our first guy. Our second guy is a little Nemo fish. So he's going to be more of a rectangle to start with, or you can be an oval if you want to. And he's going to have his little face here. Uh, and then he's got a sort of a fin that starts here, sort of like that, like a camel, camel back, <laughs> two humps like this. So this is sort of a section here. Sort of a section there and that's where his fin's going to be. Bring it in for you. His fin's going to be there. This is another fin from behind is going to be over there. And then he has a little bit of a longer tail in proportion compared to our other guy there. Okay. So they have, oops, it's a little close. They have sort of like a some stripes here. I'll we'll give them an eye. Probably be nice. Something like that. And then yeah, he has a pattern that kind of goes like this. These edges are trimmed. And this one you'll kind of have like an inset design here. And an inset sort of design there. Okay, so that's our basic sketch. So let's start with that, and I'm going to just go to my layers palette, click on the N, and bring back that opacity to about, oh, I don't know, 15, 20%, something in there. And then I'm going to create a new layer to do my line work on. So I'm just gonna hit that plus sign, and I'm gonna go in and do some nicer work on this. So I'm gonna go to my favorite brush, inking, 
dry ink. Let's see what line thickness we want on here. Maybe about seven, seven percent, hundred percent opacity. All right, let's get these lines going. So it's a fish, so again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Well, certainly not perfectly straight. I just want to scoop out the nose a little bit more there. Give him a little mouth. Bring that in. Yeah, so just trace over your work making it look a little nicer. <laughs> like that. And for this, I'm gonna make it like fabric fold. It's not really realistic to what the fish is, but I don't know, I kinda like it. So I'm just gonna do some really squiggly lines like this. Maybe not quite at the end like that. I don't like how I overlap that. Oops. There. Okay, so with this part, you see these ones. Actually, I'm going to shut off my background layer for you while we do this, just so we can see a bit better. So what I'm going to do is bring these where the not the edges of the curves, but you see the outer part of the curves? You kind of push and then bring it down. It kind of makes a fold, and then this you'd see the back side of it. That's how you kind of make these little folds here. I don't know, I think that's kind of fun for, for fish. While we're here, this guy has some stripes. I'm just sort of make irregular lines here as they would go. Kind of follow the the lines of how this wiggles here. There. Okay, so that's good. We'll turn back on our sketch layer so we can see what we're doing. Color in this eye. I'm just gonna color it in myself. Okay, and let's do some stripes. I don't like how this is pointed here, so I'm going to just smooth that out. Get a little bit more rounded. Okay, let's get this pattern in here. Alright. Oops, and we're going to do this too. Okay, so he looks pretty good. Let's just go and do this little guy while we're here. Our Nemo, or clownfish. <laughs> Give him a little mouth. Slight underbite, maybe. And these are gonna make kind of a little lacy too. Just a regular wiggly lines, going back and forth. This is a little smoother there. I go up to his tail, and same thing. Making it a little wiggly. 
and bringing in these lines. Oops, I don't like that way that went. All right, and then same here. Kind of bringing them in like that. And look at his other little fin. These guys, we can go in and put some lines here too. All right, that's good. Let's fill in his little eye. So these guys have a double layer here because we're going to put black in there and then white and orange. So we're going to do double lines here. Same with this. these little details. Oops. This one's kind of inside of it, it doesn't go to the edges. and next we can get to coloring this in let's see what we've got here so we'll turn off our sketch layer and there we go those are two little fishy so let's color them in so I'm going to go on my sketch layer click on that just to get below the line layer add a new layer and let's fill them in so I'm just going to go and grab um, actually, I'm going to grab the white, but I'm going to turn off my background color so you can see. So we'll grab the white. I'm going to grab my, what am I looking for? My studio pen. I'm just going to fill this in. Okay, and then I'm going to drag the color in and fill it up. Do the same to this guy, although I'm just going to do the white part. So, just going to, I'm just going to bring this down. I have it at 100%. I really don't need it. I need it about 40% maybe. It's spilling over a little too much. All right, let's see. So just this part and then all the ill edges. Okay. 
Oops. Oops. All right. Get that in there. Okay. So we have our white done and then I'm going to go and create a new layer on top. I guess I didn't have to do that to the other fish, but that's okay. Let's get our orange and we'll fill in this guy. Oops, I'm going over the wrong area. Doesn't really matter, but I'll just do the gray on top anyway. Bring my brush down a little bit more to about 20%. Okay, and then I'm going to get, why don't we just finish this guy off a little bit with the solid colors while we're here. Add another layer and just gotta grab the gray and just fill in these stripes. I don't do solid black because I think it looks a little bit more interesting when we have the lines black to have the inside a little bit gray. go a little Nemo fish looking good okay let's just add another layer grab the yellow and then let's color this guy in And then, um, actually, I'm going to erase this part. This is going to be white. And this part is going to be white. Let's go back to our orange layer and grab the orange again. And just make it on top of the yellow so we can see it. And color that in. Okay, and then this part's going to be orange. And I'm going to grab this brownier color and color this stripe in here. Right. Okay, so we can turn back on our background layer if we want. Our little fishies. Alright, so they're looking okay. This is pretty good if we want to leave them like this, but I'm going to do a few extra things. So I'm going to just go the very top of my sketch layer and just grab white and go back to my dry ink and give them a little dot here. Gives them a little life, I think. All right, so I'm going to go to my white layer, select that, and I'm going to say clipping mask. And I actually need a blue. I'll have to add this for you here, just for a shadow. I'm going to grab my painting, I'm going to grab the gouache, and let's see, what is it at? That's oh, way too big. Okay, so let's say around 15, and actually I want this a little bit more aqua. Let's see, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to delete this, add that. Okay, so I'm going to just give him a little shadow below and just lightly shade that okay then I'm going to go to the yellow layer same thing add new layer clipping mask I'm gonna grab the orange still with my gouache I'm just gonna give it a little you can see 
see, just a little orange, just to give it more interest. And then in here, I'm gonna just define the folds of it. So I'm gonna bring my brush way down to about maybe 2%. good and I'm gonna to go to the orange layer add new layer clipping mask I'm gonna use this brown color same thing bring this back up to I don't know 10 and then I'm gonna just bring it down to two again put a little detail in the grooves there. I'm gonna have to do the whites separately in a minute. I could combine all the layers too, that would be totally fine. I just usually like to work on separate layers just to, in the case I like to change the colors or something like that. I don't think this one we need to, but yeah, just sort of how I normally do it just in case I need to make any changes. So I'm gonna go to my white layer and just add another layer underneath that and grab the actual, the orange. This will be a little bit lighter. Oh, and bring this back up to about 10% again. Just give that a shade there. And down again, back and forth <laughs> to two. And we can just give them a few shadowies in here great all right well I think that's it for today these are our two little fishies you can add of course some bubbles and some seaweed and some coral and all that kind of fun stuff actually these are part of a package I just finished they're a mermaid package and there's tons of under the sea stuff so I'll put that in a link in the description below as well if you're interested to have a look so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please hit that like button subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.